Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today I thought we would just do a little shop with me. So I'm going to head over to, um, I think Marshall's and maybe Target and just find some cute, affordable options and just kind of see what's new, what's going on there. I haven't done a video on shopping since Uniqlo and I think that was back in the fall. That was the last time I purchased stuff, but it's February now and let's see if there's some new finds or anything affordable that I could tap into. Uh, and yeah, we'll just try on and see what we have out there see what's going on with the styles and the trends uh, so without further ado let's get into it all right so I decided to get a few spring options and I wanted to see if I could mix and match so that I could buy items that I could wear with multiple things and therefore not spend a lot of money so first are these capris which I really did not think I would find something to go with it but they actually were pretty cute and they were only $19 um, I got a size small and here's how they look on me always 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 I have trouble with my waist versus my hips um, so of course they were a little bit big Of course, I was actually really, really impressed by these. They fit lengthwise really cute. And then here's where I made a major flub matching these outfits. I mean, no offense to anyone that ends up doing this. So what I did is that I rolled up the shirt, folded it up and made this top hang over it. So it's more of like a crop fit. And that actually looked really cute. The capris were giving me a bit of a 70s vibe, so I decided to roll with that and continue that with the rest of the style that I had on. I think you could actually probably get away with wearing this at work. What do you guys think? And then I thought maybe a long overcoat would look cute with it, but hey, you can't always, you know, win everything. And as you can see, didn't quite have the look, so I decided to change it up. And this top was so versatile and I love that it was eco-friendly. I think it was made out of wood pulp, which was pretty interesting. This was the size medium and uh, here's how it looked on. So of course you could wear it oversized and hanging down, um, but you could also roll up the sleeves and eventually roll up the top as well and do like a little cross tie. Major 70s vibes I was feeling. And I love this outfit. I almost was like, this is exactly what I need to wear. I just had things that I never really use, like the wide legged jeans, rolling up the top, or, you know, tucking in the shirt, which I actually like this one a lot better. I think the overcoat worked with it much more. And I really liked tucking into the shirt to those jeans. Just more of like a classy look for like a Saturday or a date day. And then here's that fur coat. It was actually quite light and uh, only $29.99. I think it honestly just made that whole outfit just look that much more fun and that much more put together and just great. This one, still 70s vibes. I think if I just wore it like a little off the shoulder, it'd be good. So I was like, hmm, let's switch it up. And then here's just a little bit more on those jeans. So they were wide-legged, but they did fit in the waist. They were a little bit loose, um, but I really liked the look. I definitely never, never, never saw myself into the wide leg jeans when that style came out, but now I'm kind of rethinking it. The only thing is, as you can see, it looks like like the crotch to my hip was like a little short, so they kind of rolled up a little bit. I'm not sure how they were made or what brand it was, but um, I still liked the overall look of them. And here's just that uh, little crop top that was really nice and the long overcoat. Now this coat was in a large, so that's why it looked very much oversized, but I still kind of liked it and it was faux leather, so you know I was feeling that. But see, it kind of works. Like even though it is oversized, it has a look. And here are some pinstripe pants, or sorry, polka dot pants that I thought I would really like, but again, they were just a little too big. And here's where I was making process of elimination, trying to figure out which ones would I end up getting.
really liked that coat couldn't find a smaller size and the fur coat i really liked it but i did just feel like i have a fur coat already i ran into these white sneakers and i needed some new white sneakers so i ended up going with that and then we're over to target now target these jeans i'm so confused i tried on so many as you'll see and they just always had issues and i'm not even a zero i'm normally like a four so i just went from the zeros to the twos to try to figure out this one was a little bit better um, but it still just kind of had like extra sagging elsewhere and I hate when I bend down and like my jeans are falling down as well Have you guys shopped Target jeans? What do you guys think? Are you able to find your size easily or not so much? This was probably the closest I got to a good size the high waist ones, but they were just a little thin and also the back was not fitting now these were really interesting I wanted to love them I loved how they felt on the waist and in my hips, but just something about the front just kind of wasn't clicking with me. So I tried it with different things to see if it could get better. But when I put the jacket on, I actually really enjoyed it. I liked the look of it, but I just wasn't feeling it. Now the jacket is awesome like it's just it's from joy lab so i thought it was like a fitness jacket but it was warm enough that i felt like i could wear that outside and hey it was only twenty dollars and then of course some casual sweatpants now these sweats again this is an extra small which again is not normally my size but this actually worked out really well. They have like that little felt inside. So they're really, really soft and comfortable. And I went with that. And then I found some black lace up boots, which I needed new ones. So I got that. And here is what I ended up going home with. Yes, I tried on a bunch of things with lots of pops of color. And I ended up going home with all items that are black and white. I'm really trying to get more color into my life, but I just kind of fell back into what I normally get. And look at my old boots, man. I had these for about two years and I really, really ran them into the ground. So this is why we'll be tossing those and using these new boots. All right, so this is pretty much everything I got. Comment down below your favorite outfit that you saw. Where are you guys normally shopping and how do you find your deals? I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next one.